Many people today see science and Christianity or religion in general to be at war with each other, but there's no way they can fit together. You have atheistic voices saying that religion is just superstition, that it can't possibly be reconciled with a modern scientific mindset. And you have uh, religious people saying that scientists are all biased. And at BioLogos, we're inviting the church and the broader public square into a conversation about science and Christian faith. Every church member wants to take the Bible seriously, but they also look around in a real world. And so I've seen it in some various places. Uh, for me, it's watching my students go off to college and come back and say, listen, it seems like I have one of two choices. Either there is no God and it's all science, or uh, it is this, this understanding of the Bible that doesn't leave any room for science. And sometimes they're having to make some, they feel like they have to make choices. Our culture is telling us that we have to decide between science and Christianity. We can't have both of those two things at the same time. And we would say absolutely not. It's, it's very important to be able to find a synthesis between your science and your faith. When I got to graduate school, I was studying astronomy, doing research in astrophysics, and I could see the abundant evidence for the great age of the universe. And I had to figure out, how does this fit with the Bible that I love? At BioLogos, for us, the Big Bang and evolution are scientific processes. And uh, for us as Christians, we see those as the ways God used to bring about the universe and to bring about life. So evolution is a means of God's creation. What I see happening in BioLogos is you have some amazing people, some incredible pastors, some amazing theologians, uh, some of the brightest, best scientists in their field who also are professing, active Christians trustworthy people who take the Bible seriously and who take science seriously. There's really no other organization besides BioLogos that is um, willing to say, yes, the Bible is the inspired word of God. Yes, God created through a means that involves evolution. And we need to figure out how those two things fit together. BioLogos was founded by Francis Collins in 2008. Dr. Collins is one of the leading scientists in the world. He led the Human Genome Project, and he now directs the National Institutes of Health. When Francis Collins wrote his book, telling his journey on science and faith, he coined the term biologos to describe this position of evolutionary creation, of seeing God as using evolution as a means to create. The word bio uh, means life in the Greek, and the word logos means the word. God's given us a mind. I want to engage in the dialogue and I love having tools. Uh, the the BioLogos website. Let's watch a couple of videos together. Uh, let's look at some videos from a scientist who you trust. Uh, here are some theologians, and, and you believe them in these other areas. You, you find them to be valid. So let's engage in that conversation. It was really when I went off to graduate school and started to encounter some of the evidence for evolution and realized I needed to reckon with it. BioLogos has been tremendously helpful to me. Uh, it has become a community that I depend on for all the questions that I have. There's really no other organization like BioLogos helping people to reconcile science and faith. I was a professor for years and I gave up my career in research and teaching in order to do this. So uh, it's very important to me. A lot of what we want to show at BioLogos is that you can view science with integrity, you can be um, accepting the results of mainstream science, that this is not a barrier to faith. So we're really excited to have a large group of people who are uh, pursuing these ideas and engaging in a conversation.